Hey everybody, Ward and other Mighty Reviews. Today we are reviewing something a little different. This is not your standard airsoft item. Uh, this is more something that falls closer into the everyday carry world. Uh, it's not really everyday carry either though. This is a Hydropack Seeker 3 liter water bottle. It's currently in its little storage pouch that it comes with. And I wanted to show you the bag already sealed up, show you how small this guy is. This thing, in my opinion, is absolutely worth having. It's worth its weight in your pack and on your kit because it weighs next to nothing and it packs down so small. And what it is, is a three liter water bladder canteen. Look at that. Bam. So this guy here is a fantastic item. I'm gonna read some information off this data card real quick that comes with it. So this guy, leak proof screw cap, removable tether. You can pop this off if you really need to. This is where I think this thing really, really shines and is really cool. It is compatible with a 42 millimeter threaded backcountry water filter from Kaden or Be Free. That is badass and I'll tell you why in a moment. Wide working temperature range, you can freeze them. Uh, max temperature is 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That way my Euro guys, Know what this works. Uh, load bearing lash points, I'll show you in a second. Uh, extremely packable, which you saw at the beginning of the video. It goes down about four by four, roughly. Durable coated handle for easy filling, pouring, and hanging. Tear and weather resistant, which I totally agree with. Anyway, enough of that. So this here is the bag, the canteen, whatever you want to call it. You have this tether that the cap is on. Uh, this is like a laminate material, kind of similar to Squadron. You've got this little piece here where it passes through. It's kind of like a welded to the bag. And then you've got the lid here, as you can see. Big wide mouth, easy to fill from a source of water. And then you've got this handle here, same type of like laminate material, and it's welded onto the bag there. You've got two lash points here and here. And what they were talking about is about like setting this up as like a gravity feed or something. Utilizing one of these lash points with one of these little night eyes beaners, you could do that. You could just kind of, you know, hang it if it was full of water with a filter on the bottom, and you could pour filtered water into, I don't know, like a canteen like this. So if you were running a few canteens on your kit, you would be able to fill this thing up with three liters of questionable water and then filter it into here. And I think that's pretty cool. Overall, the design is really nice. The fact that it goes down so small is really great. The fact that it's compatible with those filters is really cool. And you could have two or three of these guys to plus up your water supply. And you could have one permanently designated as dirty water. So you could just take a big Sharpie, write dirty water on it. So you can't confuse it with your other one. So you always know it's not fresh water, not, cl not clean water. Put the filter on it. Questionable water goes in. Filter it out. Clean water. You could filter it right into another one. Or you can drink from the filter. It's up to you. Depends on how the filter works. But that way you can fill this up with less than appropriate water and then filter gravity feed it right into this guy and plus yourself up with clean water. And I think that's pretty great. When you're done with it, just crush it down, put it back in its little stuff sack, and then toss it in, uh, in your pack and you're good to go. Off you go. Bob's your uncle. I think these things are really great. I think they're definitely worth adding to anybody's kits, especially for uh, longer mill sim events, hiking, stuff like that. That way you can carry a little less water out with you and then you can just collect water at the source. Sometimes when you go to events, they might have a buffalo, like a water buffalo, like one of those like water trailers. I don't always trust those things. I would still filter it just because I've drank from plenty of water buffaloes in the service. And even though they were supposedly potable water, I, that shit was still gross and I never fully trusted it. Having the ability to still filter the quote unquote potable water is wonderful. So even if you don't know, even if you think your source is clean, it's always nice to just have the way to double check the cleanliness of the source. And if you don't know if the source is clean, you definitely can just add into this and filter it out. So overall, definitely cool. I love the ability to plus up water and take up no space. This way you're not carrying a large three liter bottle. You just have this small uh, packable uh, three liter guy and you just crush it up, put it in its bag, and you're good to go. So overall, definitely a cool piece of kit. I will have a link down below 
in the description to where you can buy one of these if you're interested. So go ahead and hit that description and check it out if you're curious. I appreciate you for making it this far. Thanks for watching. Uh, YouTube is saying this is my most recent video up here in this corner and you probably would like it. I definitely think you would be interested in this video in this corner because it's going to be in the same topic as this guy. If you liked this and you haven't already, maybe you consider a, come here, a little subscribe button. Like just give it a push right there. You might, you might like it. All right? I think you would. Thanks to all my new subs for checking me out and giving me a chance. Thanks to all my old subs for sticking around and helping push this channel forward. You guys are fucking awesome, and I appreciate all of you. Until next time, uh, get out there, LARP hard, guys, play some Airsoft, and you know what else? Go for a long walk in the woods. Touch grass. It's good for you. I'll see you later. Take care.